SMS Turbo is a powerful scale ticketing application that is highly configurable and meets the needs of nearly any scale ticketing environment. The ticketing process allows the operator to quickly and accurately produce secure, legal for trade scale tickets meeting local and federal requirements. SMS Turbo meets your scale ticketing needs from start to finish by offering billing interfaces to today's most popular accounting packages. In this video, we'll cover a brief overview of the SMS Turbo ticketing capabilities. This by no means goes deep into the different capabilities of SMS Turbo, and this only represents one configuration of the system. Please keep in mind that SMS Turbo can be configured in a nearly infinite number of ways. We'll start this ticket transaction by selecting a truck. This is the truck browser. All of our browsers look and feel pretty much the same way. This represents the information that is in the table that you're looking at. And at this point, I'll point out that this is configurable to meet your particular needs. I can drag columns around and drop them where I want, resize the columns, click in the column headers to sort the information. And when I pick the column that I want to sort on, I can simply start typing to immediately drill into the information down below to find what I'm looking for. This makes it very quick and convenient for your operators to find the information that they're searching upon. Once I've picked a truck, I'll pick a trailer that is attached to this particular truck. A truck can be associated with a customer. You don't have to do that, but if you associate a truck with a customer, it will automatically pull that customer forward in the ticketing process once the truck has been selected. This makes the ticketing process faster. The operator, of course, can override that default value that has been pulled forward by simply using the browser and picking a different value if they choose to. There's also a default order that was associated with this particular customer. Again, if I don't want to do a ticket for this particular order, I can simply call up my list of orders and pick a different one. Now that I've got a truck, a trailer, a customer, and an order, I'll select a material. A default material could be set system-wide or within the order. I did not set a default material, so I will pick from my list. A default location was established in this customer's order, so it came forward automatically. Again, that could be changed by the operator during the ticketing process. At this point, we'll capture the tear weight of the vehicle on the scale. When the tear weight is captured, the system automatically fires the camera that's attached to the system and captures an image of the truck on the scale. At this point, we can store this ticket. We can potentially print a loadout ticket for the driver to bring to a loader operator or simply store the ticket. When the driver returns to the scale loaded, we can use the down button to simply go to the last ticket that was done or a previous ticket. Or we could use the lookup to select from the open tickets that are in process. At this point, we need to capture the gross weight of the vehicle on the scale. A different camera fires taking a picture of the vehicle on the scale. And our pricing is calculated automatically by the system. This can include the material price, a miscellaneous price, which I could add at this point, a delivery charge, the tax if appropriate, and the ticket total. You can control whether your operator sees this information based on their authority level. I could add additional materials to this ticket at this time if I wished, or I could use the user-defined fields in the system to enter additional information. This is just one example of a user-defined field that I configured with a drop-down list to pick the name of the driver. There's no limit to the number of user-defined fields that you can have configured. You can have them on this primary screen, or you can use additional tabs in the ticket window to record additional information. You'll notice down below that we have some additional buttons that can be used to scan documents, such as a purchase order, or they can be configured to additional cameras to capture images from around your site. Lastly, we'll capture a signature from the attached electronic signature capture pad. And at this point, our ticket is complete. This is an example of what the printed ticket can look like. In most circumstances, we would probably not print the pricing on the printed ticket for the driver. The printed ticket can include logos, any information from the ticket. It can include the images that were scanned or captured from the cameras. It can also include information such as 
the total number of tons for this order to date, or the total number of loads for this order to date. It could also include information up to the day. At the same time that the ticket was printed, the same ticket or a different format of the ticket could have been emailed to the office and or a site supervisor associated with the order in question. That would allow them to be notified that the ticket has been completed and the truck is on its way. It also prevents phone calls to your office asking for copies of tickets that drivers have lost. Once the ticket has been printed, the system returns back to the ticketing screen where you're ready to process the next load. One of the most powerful aspects of SMS Turbo is its reporting capabilities. Whether it be printing scale tickets to dot matrix printers, thermal receipt printers, and laser printers, automatic emailing of tickets upon creation and the scheduling of bulk emailing of tickets, integration to Microsoft Excel through our SMS analytics application, standard reports in our report center, or our built-in report designer, SMS Turbo empowers you to make the most out of the information collected during your scale ticketing process.